Hey, how's it going? I'm gonna show you what's in my ice fishing crate and quickly how I made it. Starting off with the obvious, I got rod holders here made with a PVC pipe. I just used a multi-cutter Dremel tool to cut these pieces. I cut little notches in there, as you can see. And then on the other side of that, I have a, uh, a couple peanut butter jars that I recycled and they are holding ice picks and uh, some other little bits and bops like uh, things for my GoPro and if I have little baits that I just wanna throw in there quickly, I can toss them in there. And then I also have this uh, carboy neck from an old carboy that I had to cut up. And I have that holding my pliers and my hook cutters here. Inside the actual crate here, I have uh, my tackle box and I have just a, a big spotlight. I usually have a headlamp with me, but it's good to have a spotlight with you too. If you get really far out there on the lake and you're out there past dark, sometimes it can be tricky to find where you have to get off the ice. Spotlights help. I also have a uh, first aid kit in here and I have it inside a Pelican case, nice hard shell case. And I also have a GoPro mount on there. So if anybody does get hurt, we can make sure that we capture all the action. Not really why I put it on there, just kidding. And then on this side of the crate, we have uh, some more recycled plastic jars um, for holding the tip-ups. Just prevents everything from getting all tangled up and keeps everything kind of separate. Just makes it easier once you do get out onto the ice. Less messing around. And then out here, I have my 50, foot, uh, 50 feet of rope, floating rope. So if anybody does happen to go into the drink, uh, we can toss this to them and, uh, and they can pull themselves out or we can pull them out, hopefully. Now let me show you how I put this together. I used quarter 20 bolts and washers. And then on areas where it was a bigger gap, I used a fender washer and a washer. And then on the inside where the nut is, I used a lock washer and a washer. So it shouldn't rattle loose. And that's basically what I did for all the attachments. Just used a washer and a quarter 20 bolt, and that was enough. If you wanna see some of the adventures and the trips that I take with this ice fishing setup, make sure you subscribe to the channel to see that, and uh, we'll catch you later.